Well, it's good to see you all back here again. Uh, we're down in my main base here. You can see the stuff going on. This is episode two. I'm going to call this Haunting. Now, I've done about four different episodes, and I've been trying to go back here, way back there. And there is a uh, there's an archaeo archaeological dig that I did with the fossil, but I've tried three, four different times, and they all did not work. So um, this last time I saw something in the front of my place and we're going to take care of that first. I saw a creeper. A creeper in a hole near my near my fireworks. So we're going to take care of that. But first I got to go get um, some uh, grass blocks first. And this is my chest room that we're coming up to. I got a lot of chests in here. But here we go. We're going to go to the dirt where the grass blocks are lo also located. Uh, I was thinking one or two but maybe... Yeah, maybe, maybe 10. ten. 10 should do the trick. 10 should be more than enough, I should think. Now, the uh, chests go way down here, and in the beginning I didn't know where anything was, but uh, now I'm pretty sure where everything is, so this many chests is not a problem. But if you, were, if you came in, you'd have to do a little bit of searching to find things. But they are categorized. So let's go back. Now, I have two entrances back here. This first one was where I just came in from. The second one will also get you back to the same place where we were, but this one also... Sorry, I got distracted. I ran right into the wall. I was distracted because something else going on around me. This also one, this one also takes me to the stables. And that's the stables right up there. Whoosh, up we go. Now, turning this way makes it so that when I enter the stables, I just brought right up. There you go. You can see it's nighttime out, but we're going to take a look around just real briefly at the stables here in just a moment. There we go. Stables. My house is out there. I've heard something. Oh, that's what I heard. You know, but I'm going to look around. I've had that happen to me before where I think I heard something and I kill off what I think I heard and then boom. Creeper goes off and I don't know it. Now this is my switch here for the fireworks, and this is kind of what we're going after here. I got my fireworks all set up, I've had it for a long time, and there's a hole over there, right there. And there's a creeper in there I spotted just a little bit ago, but uh, I don't want him to blow up while he's down there, and I don't want to just jump down there and try to kill him, so we're going to unbury him, we're going to get him out of there, but we need to be ready here, because I know there's more than just a creeper down there, so that's what we're doing first. Hope you find this a little bit entertaining, and I hope you don't find it too entertaining because I blow everything up. All right, I gotta admit I'm a little nervous here. Creepers don't scare me, but I don't want him to blow this up on me. And there's nobody there. I know they're down there though. You, you heard them. Oh, here he is. Getting out of here. But he can't climb up there. Let's clear out another one or so. Where is that creeper? There he is. There he is. All right. Let's dig him out of there. I don't want to get too close because I don't want him going off. All right. Let's, did you hear him? He was ready to go off. But I didn't dig enough to get him out of there. All right, let's dig another one. Let's get him out of there. Like I say, I'm a little scared. That that one, that should do it. That should do it. Run, run, run. What the heck? Really? Come on. All right, let's dig out another one. This should really do it. Oh, 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 run, 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 run. Okay, now, here we go. I really don't run away from creepers. What I do is I attack. And when you have a decent sword and decent armor, you just go for them. And you just start wailing on them. And they don't stand a chance. If you have like a stone sword and no armor, then run away. So we're lighting this up down here because I don't want that to happen again. I actually think that uh, that creeper fell down in a hole. I think an enderman took a piece of the uh, um, grass block there. And left that hole and I think he fell down in there. He could have just spawned down there too. I don't know which. 
All right, so we're gonna fill this back in. You saw some of the uh, redstone works that helps to fire off the, helps to fire off the fireworks the way I wanted it to. And you also saw that it was starting to get to uh, daylight. Up here is where the fireworks shoot out, and over there is where we're going. Here we go. That's where we're going, right there. Now, Green is uh, who I'm copying from here, to be quite honest from you. Now, Green did a thing uh, about a haunted house, and I really liked it, and it was October, and I wanted to do something for October for the realm, so I built this. And I don't think anybody in the realm has been there yet, because I haven't had anybody on from the realm in a long time. So you might be the first ones to see this. And it is a big build. I've never made a build that big before. And I am happy with it, and I'm going to do some other big builds like that later. Now, this is modeled after the uh, haunted house in Disney, but this is Disney Paris. And like I said, Green did this. So he's seen that before. Um, he did his in survival. No, he did his in creative. I did mine in survival. And while I was working on it, I came across these two... Uh, skeleton horses and I thought wow they work perfectly for this haunted type of environment so I captured them and threw them in there and I decided to do a scarecrow with this iron grating going around which does not make a good fence so you can see where other animals have come and destroyed my crops but that's okay we'll replace them later on never mind the rails we'll talk about them another time now here's the back porch we can go up any type here you can see that's all actually rails going along there and I'm going to show you some of this area back here. Now back here was where I was going to do a uh, cemetery. I was going to put up signs that said some goofy things about the various uh, people buried there. But uh, the signs, I'd type in like three letters and then the words would disappear. So I gave up. So I'm going to wait till there's another update and see if the signs work better there. The signs have problems here and there throughout the realm and other places have worked just great. Now I like this place down here. I thought this was pretty cool. I didn't want to fill it in. I didn't know what I was going to use it for and I still haven't figured that out yet. But uh, I left it so you can still get down there. Oh by the way, when there's an update, the big update coming along, the vines at some point we're supposed to be able to climb up the vines without them growing along the side of a tree or a building or whatever. Just hanging free like that. So when it comes to working in the jungle, that's going to help a lot. And I got a jungle build going on, which you're going to see in another episode. Now we're going out here because there's a ton of animals out here. I never kill off any animals out here, so they just keep showing up out here. And of course, now that I want to show them off to you, they all went into hiding. Still, there's a lot of them out here, but uh, normally it's packed out here. Now, when you see these flowers, like right up ahead there in this, this is part of the flower trail. This was one of the first roads I built. I didn't want to lay down a bunch of different stones and things like that. I just put flowers along the edge. And, of course, I carved out the trail itself, too. And it goes all the way out to Ka uh, Kalo, no, Kylo Ren's place. And also... I originally did because I went out to my uh, skeleton farm. Now, I bet you saw the zombie man standing there, and he goes back to the uh, pigs that got hit by the lightning. They're all over the place, those zombie men. You just run into them occasionally. Like my greenhouse. Now, green didn't put stuff like that in. So I've added quite a bit compared to what Green had. Now, I'm not saying I'm better than Green in any way, shape, or form. Because if he does things in survival as well, he's still hugely fantastic in the way that he does his builds. But uh, he just did the one main house, and so I added to it. My house is slightly different, but it's very similar. All right, I think it's time to go inside. Now... I made these windows that you can see in, but they were still a little dark to look in through. And this door, 
that's supposed to be a handle there for a big door I know it doesn't quite look right and if you do it for the main door itself it just doesn't work properly because you can't close it from the other side there's my armor I figure if you're gonna have a big house like this you want uh, knights and shiny armor standing around so there you go here we have uh, some music that I play sometimes We're going to play just a little bit of this. Let's see what I'll do is I'll, I will play that and you walk around and it gives an eerie feeling, but I forgot to turn the music level down when I recorded this. So, uh, we're going to put that away. The tree you saw behind me, I just left it. I thought I'd chop it down. Here we're, we're, we're moving into the dining area, along with the kitchen. There's our sink and area for working and drawers and, uh, oh, the ice box. Got to have the ice box. Stove. And any good uh, kitchen in a mansion has another way out of it. And here we go. This fireplace. I like the fireplace, but I was scared when I lit that. So I was afraid I was going to burn down the entire house. I've done that before and burnt down the house. So I was ready. Had buckets of water and things like that, but nothing happened. This is storage room. I mean, when you build places like this and you do lots of digging like I had to do for this, you're going to end up with stuff. And here we got the suit of armor that I just got. Sometimes people say, how do you get so much stuff? Well, you you got to dig, you got to play, and it just comes to you. I had so many slime out here. And plus, I have looting three on my sword. So something like the slime balls, you just get tons of them. And Enderman, hopefully you get to see me go against Enderman. I'll show you how to do it. You don't have to be afraid of those guys. Yeah, you should be respectful. They, they can really come at you, but don't be afraid of them. All right, over here. We got this guy here. My first one, my first skull that I got, I actually bartered for, and I never felt right about it because it wasn't mine. This one, uh, that was my very first one. Got a sword, got the coal from him, and so I've got him displayed here in the haunted house. And there's my tree. All righty. This is just the door to the back porch. So I think we should start to head upstairs. Now both these sides, they go to the same spot. I just thought it was pretty nice. Oh yeah, these guys here. I wanted to make uh, lamps out of the sea pickles in the water, but you can see how dark the water is because we're in the swamp, so it doesn't work as well. Now, it might be as bright with the light, but I just didn't like the look of it, so I didn't use it. I wanted to put one right here and one right here. Didn't work out, though, but I do use them in other builds. There's my suits of armor. Over here is a area I just haven't done anything with. Thought maybe throw a carpet down and some chairs and couches, things like that. I don't know. I just might leave it faint and I don't know. Any ideas, let me know. Right now I'm kind of don't have anything planned for it. And on this other side is the library area. You can sit, read a book, have a cup of coffee. There's more to it than that because, well, it's a mansion. It's a haunted mansion. There should be more, don't you think? Out this way. Oh, see that? I have some other things out that way. That's where you go to get to the maze and uh, wipe out game and some other things too. So we'll go that way another time. All right. So, yes, of course, there's a hidden passage here. Let's get, here's the key right here. Take that and sometimes it does that. Take that. Go through here. And right up here, right, right above, here. there we go. I did this once, and I opened it up, and there was standing a creeper on the other side, blew up, and blew up all my books and that, and I had to rebuild the whole thing. So I'm a little more cautious about it.
but I've lit things up a lot more. Now I have supplies here for the brewing sand and that, but this is more of window dressing type things. I really wasn't, this isn't really where I'd go to do, you know, brewing things, but I, I have done some, uh, uh, feather falling or whatever it's called on there. There you go. We're set. Now, both of these staircases end up going to the same place. I like this one better for this route. This is going to be the attic. I thought it'd be cool to put some dusty old type of things in here, but I just don't know what. Maybe a chest. I don't know. What else should I put up here? Uh, maybe a stand with maybe just a helmet or something. I don't know. Now, when you see the double pane glass like that, I'm trying to darken things. Make it a darker red. I don't know if that really works. You'll see in this big window here where I've actually have blue and red and red and red. I'm just trying to change the colors here so it's not just red, just blue. I have different shades of the red and blue going on too. And I left this area so I can just look out. Rose colored glasses, if you will. So we're going up. We'll go up to the roof area here. Now when Green did this build, um, he put all of that area, all of this, he made um, anvils because he wasn't creative. So he could just put all the anvils he wanted. I'm in survival. I can't afford those type, that many anvils. That, that, that would be exceedingly expensive. So I worked it out like this. And it comes out pretty good. I like it. Coming up on uh, sunset. Now, you can go down there if you like. Over here, if you were down there, you could, uh, yeah, there, right there. That's how you could climb down off the roof. I have some uh, a ladder there, or you can go this way. I spent a lot of time out here when I was building the place, and I was, yeah, I used the uh, potion of feather falling quite a bit. Saved me a couple times. Mostly I just used it to jump off to uh, get down more quickly. Here we go, up another level. Oh. I saw the glowing eyes, but I wasn't quick enough. I didn't even think of what that was. Thankfully. Okay, we got two of them coming after me. Now this fencing, oh, this fencing is protecting me, but I don't want it to. I want them to come after me, so I want to use my looting sword. It's looting three, see, and uh, so if I get some membranes, I can get more than one. I could get a few of them, so that's what I want to do. I, I could shoot them with my bow, but if I get anything, it's going to be just one. But they're having problems getting through that fencing. See, maybe they'll, oh, now I got three of them. Maybe if I'm right here, I got him. But I, he got me. We're going downstairs. We're going down to ground level and we're going to deal with them outside. Yeah, I could just stay inside and not be bothered with them, but I want the membranes that you get from them. Not only that, They've attacked me. We're going to deal with them. Don't be afraid of these guys. You can deal with them. You have to have decent armor and have a decent sword or bow and arrows. And... But you can deal with these guys. Be smart about it. Here's the problem with being down here. Now I'm going to be worried about... Whether... Oh, man. Now I'm going to be worried about whether a creeper's coming up on me. That's the problem. When I'm fighting these guys, if a creeper comes up behind me and they hit me at the same time, it could be a double whammy. Uh, I got the trees in the way. All right. Oh man, got nothing but uh, XP. I already got 48 XP. I ain't worried about XP. Come on, you can do better than this. Come on. All right, he's coming. He hit the tree. Wait, he hit... Alright, we're going to watch him next time. 
got that guy. Still nothing. Where'd he go? All right. Oh, now there's another one. You got this guy. Oh no, he must have been the new one. All right, we're not looking away this time. We're gonna watch. There he goes. Got him. See, I got two membranes. Whereas if I would have used the bow, I would have got one. He's coming. There he is. Let's see if we get him. Now, if I was any good at this, I'd hit him at the right time and he wouldn't hit me. Apparently, I'm not any good at this. I'm done with him. I got my two membrane. I'm happy. These guys are tough to hit, really. All right, let's see. We'll collect a little bit of this XP. And I saw that gold bar over here. The fire crackling you heard was actually the fireplace. That's nothing to worry about. We're not going after that XP. I got plenty. Let's get inside and be safe. Alright, I'm looking for a place to call this uh, episode. I think this is a good spot right here if I can jump over this. Alrighty. Okay, so I'd like to thank you all for watching again. Um, I have a number of episodes in mind, but for right now, we're going to be out of here.